In the news this week, the British Medical Association abandons its opposition to assisted suicide. Trans activists liken those who uphold the reality of biological sex to fascists. And the Crown Prosecution Service becomes the latest public body to distance itself from Stonewall. Hello. The British Medical Association has narrowly voted to drop its support for end-of-life protections in the UK. At its annual meeting, delegates backed a motion to adopt a neutral stance on assisted suicide by 149 votes to 145. Speaking against the proposal, palliative care expert Baroness Finlay argued neutrality was merely a precursor to legalisation. In an interview with LBC, Care Not Killing's Dr Gordon MacDonald expressed disappointment at the BMA decision. We're disappointed um, that it, the BMA opted by a very, very slim majority. I think it was only four votes, actually, the majority, um, to adopt a position of neutrality. But, you know, the, the, the BMA is split on this issue. In fact, the, the vote today was a lot closer than, than the outcome of the, the poll that happened um, last year. And that's because there was a, an, a more informed debate today. People were able to consider the arguments against, um, which wasn't so much the case last year. Baroness Meacher's assisted dying bill is scheduled to be debated in the House of Lords on the 22nd of October. Former Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr Rowan Williams, criticised the latest attempt to legalise assisted suicide, arguing that a change in the law would have an unacceptably high price. Trans activists have likened critics of radical transgender ideology to fascists. Writer Judith Butler called women who uphold the reality of biological sex anti-feminist, homophobic and transphobic. She added, anti-gender ideology is one of the dominant strains of fascism in our times. And Riddle Vardva, a man who identifies as a woman, accused people who oppose allowing men to use women's spaces of exposing themselves as being on the right and being very comfortable associating with fascists. The Institute's Kieran Kelly said the claims were simply the latest in a series of disgraceful attempts to silence those who defend the reality of biological sex. A freedom of information request has revealed a surge in emergency calls from women who have taken abortion pills without medical supervision. The South Western Ambulance Service told the Mail on Sunday that its dispatches for such calls had tripled since April last year. Callouts in London were also shown to have doubled since the rollout of the pills. Right to Life UK spokeswoman Catherine Robinson warned there is no guarantee about who actually takes the abortion drugs, there are no in-person checks on the gestation of the baby and it is very difficult to reliably assess whether or not the woman is being forced into doing something she does not want to do. And finally, the Crown Prosecution Service has withdrawn from Stonewall's controversial diversity champion scheme. The decision was announced on Twitter by BBC correspondent John McManus. Speaking on BBC News, McManus described some of the advice offered by Stonewall under the scheme as contentious, including the use of toilets by members of the opposite sex and how to deal with using someone's preferred pronouns. Other high-profile public bodies to have left the scheme in recent months include Ofcom, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, the DVLA and Employment Dispute Service, ACAS. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>